All right, we're gonna take a quick look at uh, some tools I, I picked up while I was uh, out of town. Um, give you a hint, they came from this, this one country. Um, they were actually imported from Germany. Um, and I guess if you're gonna talk about some German tools, might as well have some, some beer um, from said country, right? Um, Hefeweizen. I think I said that right. Uh, so wheat beer, I guess. But this tastes as good. Good stuff. Take a sip. Mm. It's pretty good. So we'll leave that there on display. Actually, we'll yeah. We'll leave it there. You'll see me reach for it a couple times. So, backstory: I was out of the country, like I said, and I picked up some tools. Uh, COVID, all these restrictions. So I went to the tool store, and they were like, "New rules: you can't come inside." And I was like, "What the crap?" I just drove like 30 minutes, um, and I went to like three different spots. The first spot, like I said, you couldn't go in. Um, it showed a noise. Um, first spot I couldn't gonna really go in um, so they you could only go in a little part of the door and while I'm talking I'll just start taking this stuff out um, you could only go in like one at a time inside the doorway and they had like a little area that was blocked off and you could, I mean I didn't know what they had available um, it was kind of hard to see through the glass from the angle and see the shelves so I was like shit I'm there already so I was like hey dude um, do you mind just, here's my phone. Um, do you mind just taking a picture of the shelves? Um, and yeah, he was kind enough. He understood kind enough to do it. Uh, and he took a picture, of the sh uh, a couple of pictures of the shelves. Um, I came back and I, uh, cause there were other customers waiting outside. I stepped, up, stepped outside, I actually stepped outside cause only one at a time could be in the store and, um, allowed them to do their transaction. And then, uh, once it was kind of clear and I wasn't going to hold holding anyone up with my awkward means of purchasing tools, I uh, I kind of scrolled through the phone and I was like, hey, do you mind if I see these items? And they're like, sure. And I purchased it there. And then um, it was actually at this store. That's where I got this bag from. Berger Auto, Auto Tally, KBK. Um, and then I went to a second store, which I think it was, was the same, like, affiliated store. I think it's kind of like an Ozone in the States um, type store. And I went to the second store, and the guy was like, oh, technically we can't let you in per German rules and uh, blase blase. But, hey, no one's watching, so I got to follow you around just in case. I was like, sure. Kind of odd, but... Didn't really have much at the second store, but I did pick up some, at least two things. Um, and then the last store I went to, um, I walked in and it was, they didn't really have anything that I saw that I would need or fancy, fancy me. I think I ended up picking up one thing. Anyway, so here's what I got. I got this, uh, this was one of the first things I saw through the windows and I was like, I asked them for a low profile socket. So this is a KS tools. And I believe KS is a, uh, affiliate of like, I believe it's France. I kind of looked it up slightly, but it was sold in Germany. Um, maybe sold in all these different countries. And that's what the, I've already opened this set. That's the model number and you know, the contents. And I'll open this up real quick. Obviously, you can buy stuff like this probably on Amazon um, or Amazon International, Amazon Germany or Amazon Europe or eBay and you'd have to pay shipping. But I was there. I kind of just wanted to use the opportunity to, you know, try some brew and uh, get some tools. Anyway, like I said, I already opened this case in and that's how I got that piece of paper out. Um, but I thought this was a pretty nifty set. Like, you typically see the wearers and the 
you know, all the other brands and stuff, but this was a pretty neat, like, quarter inch set. As you can see, it has this flexible, I won't take everything out, this flexible um, shaft here. Um, pretty neat, quarter inch. You got this, like, uh, is this a four or, I don't know, about four inch or six inch, whatever it is, um, extension. You got like a three inch or a two inch, whatever this is. You got a universal swivel, swivel, swivel. You got some little Allen keys here, which I'll probably never use, but they'll stay nice tucked away there. Um, you got this uh, slide in, um, let me see if I can put it down. Explain it better. I realize I'm already five minutes into this video, but I kinda had to tell you the backstory. All right, we'll leave that there. Um, yeah, I'll actually grab a second light. So we'll grab a light, we'll stick it up here, and we'll, yeah, make it, make it bright. Get this flashlight, Harbor Free flashlight might be dead. All right, gotta swap it out. these uh, cheap Harbor Free flashlights. They work, but they're not the greatest. Um, and I'm sorry about anyone thinking the video is overly excessively long and I'm not, I don't spend time editing videos. In fact, I've never edited a video. So uh, I apologize for the drone time. Uh, and if you hear background noise, that's my five-year-old playing with my Milwaukee socket set. Hopefully he puts them back like the way he found them. Probably not though. Um, you got this slide in like T-handle coming quarter inch also, pretty nifty. And I mean, everything has a spot in here. Um, you got this little extension, you know. And then all the bits, well, actually you got the, the driver, right? Pretty nice handle. Yes, KS tools, red and black, quarter inch drive engraved on there, you know, pretty nice. I'm not sure like the equivalent of KS tools, you know, like people talk about Husky and like different the brands of tools, but this is a quarter inch set. This is pretty nice. And when I look at this, I have Weaver tools and it has the same like German satin, I don't know, finish. Um, I don't know. Uh, quarter inch. Um, you can see the, the depth of it. Um, push button. Um, positive, positive lock. I'm not one to talk about T count and stuff, but might as well. I want to talk about a German tool that I got from there as well. Just ratchet it so you can hear it. But pretty nice. Pretty, pretty nice. Stays in there. Um, and then the the sockets. It's actually numbered on here, and I know you can't see it, but it's four, four and a half, five, five and a half, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So everything from four to fourteen without skipping a size, and then you got the half sizes, four point five and five point five in between there. All the sockets. Um, let's see. Let's grab a common ten millimeter, right? One claim, and they're all six point, by the way, right? Six point. Um, they're all stamped with KS tools. Um, let's see, and what else is on there? The tent, the sizes on there, and chrome vanadium, I think, is what it is, is on there. Um, so all the sizes are stamped, and they have this little neural, this little neural edge around it. Um, but not really, there we go. It's a little neural edge around it, so it's pretty nice. Um, we'll try to fit it to the and see how the fitment is. Uh, yeah, I mean, the locking mechanism works. It's not coming off. Uh, it's not It's not too loose or not too floppy around or anything. Um, it definitely do the job. And of course, it's gonna fall. Well, that's a good test. It didn't fall and crack. So that would be uh, money wasted. And then you got these, uh, these different bits up here, like um, hex, Allen, whatever, uh, Phillips, flat, um, different sizes. You got, you got a, this one is a 
H3, then you got four, five, six, seven, eight, um, some size one there, two, three, um, flat, flat four, flat 5.5, and then you got uh, T10, 15, 20, 25, 27, 30, 40, uh, number two, number one Phillips, and then another flat. It's a pretty comprehensive set of uh, quarter inch stuff here. Um, since we tried one of the sockets on that one, we'll try it on the, the nut driver here, see how it works. Yeah, pretty nice. We'll get the job done, just pop it off. Anyway, like I said, I picked this up. Um, one of the first things I was like, hey, do you have a low profile socket set or something? Um, and the guy was like, this is what I have. And I was like, yeah, I'll take it. As far as prices, I won't go into prices and how much they were. I do have the receipt over there, but um, yeah, it it's irrelevant. It was like a, a not a really a one time experience, but a first time experience doing that. Um, We'll leave this in here to help contain these things. Granted, I don't think, yeah, they're not gonna fall out, but we'll leave this in there just to help, you know, cushion them, deaden the noise. Uh, we might, well, if I put this in there, it's not gonna work out. It's not gonna close perfectly, so. We'll, we'll close that up. Like I said, this is, this goes with this tool. Um, I do believe KS is uh, made in France. It's a France-made tool company or something. But I could be wrong, but I did pick it up from Germany. Or maybe they're both Germany and France affiliated. Uh, model number. Quarter and set. Put it over there, and we'll have a sip to that. On that same note, so we do have this one. I don't think I opened it. Pop this open. So this is uh, the KS Tools 92-1490 Slim. Again, quarter inch. And uh, I know when the guy had brought it up to me, um, it was, um, I was like, is it the same one as this one? And he was like, no, it's different. And you can tell. So this is the one that came in the, the thicker one came in the, the kit. And then you got this little, still quarter inch, but it's slightly, it's like, huh, it's about the same length, I guess. It's definitely thinner profile here. Um, definitely thinner on the neck, the head of it. Um, slightly thinner handle or about the same size handle, it looks like. It looks like the, over, the rubber molding is slightly longer. Uh, slightly a little, does, you can tell from the design, but also stamp KS Tools. Um, it says KS Tool right there and Slim Power, I believe. And even on the little little um, switching mechanism there, I know you can't see it. It does say KS Tools. I can actually read it. Um, so it's it's different from this one um, slightly because it's it's definitely lighter. Uh, again, quarter inch. So this will this will get you some tight spot. Um, and uh, it doesn't really stick out that much. If any, it's pretty much flush once it's, you switch it. But again, I was like, is it the same? And he was like, no, it's different, but it's, it's pretty light. This one is this one is noticeable heavier just based on the head. Look at the size of the head. Um, uh, so this one is noticeable heavier than this one. This one is like paperweight still. You got a push button there. Push button is slightly more flush. So this one is more uh, low profile. Because the push button, as you can see, the push button on that one sticks out, whereas the push button on that one is completely flush. Um, even the button, again, is completely flush on this one, whereas this one is, everything is on top of the tool right here, the button and the switching, whereas this one is like flush, button is flush, and the switching mechanism is flush with the, with the recess handle right here. But overall, really great feel. Really will uh, enjoy having these in my arsenal, using them. Uh, Put that there, and um, so we'll, we'll try to fit this camera back up a little bit. 
so yeah really great tool it came in this little um holder i kind of did they had i believe they had a 3 8 and the um half inch i don't know depends on how these work out i might end up if i ever go back which what's the chances um I'm pretty high actually um i'll end up picking up the 3 8 and the the half because i do like it we'll see i have so many ratchets and stuff uh secondary to that since we're on ratchets and sockets sockets or kits or whatever everyone knows has it has it um that's the model number right there 916 sp made in germany engraved in there it's not going to come off unless you grind it down this is the half inch about 12 inches i think switch a knob no push button and um definitely uh decent decent on the sound um yeah what does there say has it pretty nice handle pretty nice feel pretty beefy pretty solid um we'll get a job done i do have hazards here before let me go look at my yeah without dragging out this video i was like I know when I was purchasing these, I wasn't sure. I do know I had, had a has it. Um, this is a, a small bit driver I had purchased recently um, via Amazon. So I just leave this little bit in there. Um, but I wasn't sure. I thought I had a bigger one. I might, but, um, or it just might be my Amazon in our cart waiting to be purchased, but we'll leave that to the side. So that's the half inch right there. And then we turn again to the three eighths. Right here, pretty much the same, same setup. Um, you got a lock and pin on, on all of them. Again, that's the model number right there, 8818, or sorry, 8816P made in Germany engraved three eights and while we're talking about that lock and pin i didn't look and see if these actually had a lock and pin um, yeah these do have a little lock and pin detent on there i mean that explains it right that's why it has the little push button go figure anyway i need to put it in the case so uh and then we have this guy um that's the thing. So I thought I had a quarter inch um, has it, and uh, this is what I had at a quarter inch stubby nano bit driver, but I didn't have a, a quarter inch um, ratchet. Or maybe I do. I just have it's probably somewhere in there. I got to look, but that's why I didn't buy it when I was out there because I knew I had a recently purchased hazard tool. I just didn't remember exactly what I had purchased based on what I was looking at. So it uh, looks like I'll have to get the quarter inch and then I'll have to get a three eighths and a half in the KS tools. Anyway, um, there was this brand, SW Stahl, um, chrome vanadium. I think this is the model number, maybe uh, 05790L, um, or it might be that number right there. I'm not sure. It's a ratchet wrench, of course, made in Germany. And we'll pop this thing off. Let's see if we can just twist it out of here, actually. Might have to cut this thing. Uh, see if I can do this without cutting myself. Oh, easy. Sorry, this video is going along. I'll try to be faster here. Again, SW tools or SW stall, um, quarter inch driver. It has this uh, kind of angled profile. Um, so definitely a little angled profile to it. Um, 
kind of raised get you know prevent you from like scraping your hand on whatever component you're trying to remove or undo fine too definitely you can hear it um push button feels comfortable we'll definitely get the job done for a quarter inch when compared to these it's about the same length definitely the head on it is definitely bigger the head on the head on this one is the same size as the head on the one in the kit um, but same length and again uh, if you want to compare these to an equivalent us brand i don't know i can't tell you what to compare them against and then i have a a brake file here again it's the same brand sw stall um so maybe part number to help you out if you were able to find these online or if you travel there yeah, but i do have brake files again this is stamped on it sw stall um pretty aggressive brake file um i do have the mueller caps versions but when i held this one i was like man i don't know if the mueller caps were this aggressive uh, let me grab those real quick So don't ask me why I have so many brake files, but this is the Mueller Kevs. Actually, I bought, um, I got the, I got two of the same ones, the 200s, 460, 200. And then I got the 202, which is a thinner profile. The 202 is a thinner profile than the 200. The guy had sent me the wrong one, so he just said keep it. Um, kind of glad I did because, uh, <coughs> sorry about that. Um, this right now is a thinner, or not thinner, less aggressive, less aggressive toot on it than this. So we'll put that there. This is, this is very aggressive. And as you can see on all three of the, the Mueller Kev ones, they have the, <clears throat> the back end is, uh, unusable. It's just a part for marketing, you know, it has the business a little bit of brand and all that stuff some safety information whereas this all around all corners of it it's literally um, a file <clears throat> and you still have the sharp carbide edge here i think it's carbide um and the shank is in there you know soft handle soft as in it was like a hard plastic but um it's not steel so yeah um i saw this and i was like yeah i don't remember if the mueller cows were this aggressive um, but if you need to remove some corrosion on some uh, brake caliper uh, brackets or something, you know, make sure those make sure those things are sliding properly. This will get the job done. Um, and let's see. Yeah. Probably just show these before I rip the plastic off. And we got this uh, again, France German KS tools. It's fifty five. Our 5501025 is a model. It's like a magnetic pickup tool. Um, let's see. There we go. Live and living color. Flexes. Picks up stuff. Um, yeah, that's right there. Um, black handle with a little lanyard through it. It actually has uh, 400 millimeter by one kilogram model number and then ks tools is engraved in black right there pretty solid handle fits pretty beefy in your hand um uh, pretty decent length um, probably about 18 i don't know i don't know how long that is whatever 400 millimeter is but pretty decent i mean this is a table and it's uh stretching the full length of it almost so flexible we'll get the job done Picks up, let's just see. And there we go. Picks up this uh, 3 8 no problem. Let's see if it picks up a half inch. Uh, yep, <laughs> there we go. Oops, my hand's in the view. So this is a half inch, um, has it suspended from the magnet. So 
Uh, pretty strong magnet to that extent. Let's see if it grabs my beer. Nope, oh, obviously. It will not take my beer to me, so. And I, I saw this one at a different store, same brand, SW Stall. Um, I don't speak German, but looks like it's a magnetic pickup tool. <clears throat> Um, this one is slightly thinner for this package open thinner profile and again it's flexible it's uh it will you know adhere slightly less more rigid than the first one this one holds a shape more this one it does hold a shape but it's a little bit more rigid um, but as you can see it's thinner um diameter if you will let's see if it picks up some stuff uh, yep picks up that brake file just put this back over here trying to knock over my beer um let's see if it picks up the half inch not really uh maybe slightly go fishing for half inch Ratchet, let's see, go slowly. And yep, it's strong enough to pick it up. So, and we'll just uh, lay it back over there without knocking over the beer. Yep, strong enough. So, again, um, the handle, uh, that's what's on there 300 15L, and SW stall is on there. Oh, it looks like you got some like little rubber, rubber seal O-ring type little in these little grooves right here, maybe to add to the grip. So these could, you know, eventually rip apart, but it would just leave a little notch or you could find another ring to put in there, but it adds color, I guess, like cheap way to add a little bit of blue to it. Um, yeah, so I got these. It's not that I, I don't have pickup tools already. Um, and then you can see the handles are different. This one is bigger. So everything about this is slightly bigger and this one is slightly smaller and the handle is, is as such. All right, two more things. Um, 27 minutes in, it should be done by 30. This is a, um, <laughs> go figure. And maybe another magnetic pickup tool. And I mean, you might be saying, dude, you can get these stuff. You can get ratchets, you can get magnetic pickup tools, files, all in the States, but hey, don't hit the game. Um, Part number right there, 13091. Um, this one I like it because it's way smaller, it's collapsible. Um, let's see, telescope, telescope retractable 50 centimeters chrome or copper chrome magnetic lifter. Um, so, as a little holder right here for your pocket. Uh, let's see. It's not magnetic on any other size. You know, telescopic pulls out and will get you. You know, if you don't need a full length, you just need a little, you know, a little dab to pick something up. Oof. Effortless. Watch this. I know I keep blocking the video. This is the 3 8. Watch this. We'll just retract it just to keep it in frame. Effortless, effortless. As far as a tool, it does not have any marking to signify this company, this brand, this anything on it. At least I'm not seeing anything. Um, so chances are I won't remember where I got it from. Oh, I, I'll know I get it from Germany, got it from Germany. But pretty large size diameter magnet on the side. Um, we'll pick up the half inch. So if you try to pick up the, the half inch or anything slightly heavier, it's just going to keep extending until all right, I'm going to fully extend this thing and try to pick it up. Oop, oop, oop. Nope. Yeah. It just keeps sliding off because it doesn't have the flexibility to follow the contour around it. Uh, but yeah, pretty nice. I like it. Um, 
fix up everything. It's a magnet. Um, and lastly, I saw this on eBay, and uh, I'm not sure how well it's gonna work. It's probably like a novelty item, but it's probably not. I mean, it's probably common over there. Um, so oil filter, band type um, wrench. Again, KS Tools, that's the part number. Comes in this package. The one I saw on eBay was like a double size. Or it had two in there. Um, a little bit more information there. That helps. I did say 30 minutes, but we're slightly going over. Um, I, I do have an oil change to, to do on my, uh, my wife's car. So um, I'll definitely Let's try to see if this works. I'm not sure how this thing actually works, to be honest. So it came like that, and I'm trying to thread it as much as possible. Inside here, it does have a little like um, these uh, rays, divots for like gripping purposes, and then here is um, concave. And then you got it's connected by this bolt here, and you just twist. I'm not sure. I'm twisting. So I guess you twist. This is going to make it bigger. You can just wrap this around it because you're going to have the band extended. Pretty much I'm extending the band all the way up to fit whatever I want. So once I have it up there, I can just slide this around it. So my my German beer here is a well filter simulated, right? And then I can just crank this down. Let's see if I can get this all in. Crank this down until it contours to the shape of the oil filter. I don't know, this might work in certain situations. Who knows? I try not to crush my beer by going all the way, but just to get the idea. So you crank it down, it just has some slack in it. Obviously I don't wanna crush the can. Um, and then, you know, you can just, I guess, crank on it and uh, you know, get your filter off. So I just wanted to see how it worked. Um, the fact that I saw it on eBay and I, uh, I saw it when I got to the picture. I was like, yeah, let me try it. Let me take it. Um, I wish I saw they had the, the different one. But anyway, or the smaller one or whatever. But that looks like be the, the standard size of an oil filter. At least for what I change. Um, but anyway, uh, recap. KS tool quarter inch um, set. Um, right there. Actually, let's just do this. Yep, quarter inch set, pretty nice. Has literally everything that you'd need quarter inch. Extensions, swivel, um, you know, bits, slide in things. And it's funny I'm saying slide in things. One guy once said, oh, you don't know what tools you have. You're right, I don't. Um, it's not that I don't, it's just sometimes I don't really say the correct thing. Um, Getting a really slim profile, quarter inch, another um, quarter inch there, oil filter thing, half inch, three eighths, three magnetic pickup, um, different sizes will fit different purposes, and then this um, really aggressive brake file. So, uh, yep, all of them are uh, imported from Germany. Uh, no customs or tariffs on it. No ship and charge, um, no overweight bags. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go put these away in my toolbox. Um, hopefully I'll get to use them at some point in time. I'll definitely try to use the, the ratchets and the quarter inch bits as and the magnet pickup tools. I'll try to use all of them. I mean, that's why you buy tools. Um, I'm by no means a professional or full-time mechanic. I'm effectively your DIY or your shady tree or the guy that, you know, wants to do his own thing. Um, so that's why I have my own stuff. That's why I acquire my own stuff. So uh, most of my t my stuff won't look uh, used or abused. And partly I don't, we don't, well, we don't drive rust buckets. Um, not to downplay anyone, anyone's vehicle or anything, but our cars aren't like old or, you know, busted or anything. So not a whole lot of maintenance goes into them. Just standard upkeep to keep them running um, in tip top shape. Um, Cause I plan to at least keep mine for a while. If not forever. Um, so yeah, my tools won't look all uh, beat up 
and then I take care of my stuff. Um, you work for them, you pay for them, you travel halfway around the world. Um, not quite halfway around the world, but yeah, a couple hours for them, um, whatever work or leisure. So I don't know, I'm going off on a tantrum. Anyway, like me, I always say, like, and don't hit the thing. And if you have a beer, drinking, I'm at the way come from.